Hello YouTube! In this tutorial we're gonna learn how to protect specific things inside the classes in a such a way that they can be used in the main section through methods but they cannot be changed directly. So we can use them indirectly but cannot use them directly because they are so important over time as for example some voltage constant for electronic parts so you will have different calculations and different um, applications for that voltage but voltage must be stable over time okay so you will use it but you will not change it like you will not go to 3 volts 10 volts and such a thing anyway let me just type these things class like let's say CLS and now we will just uh, not use public here uh, we will use private so every time when you're trying to hide specific things from main section, you're gonna put stuff into private section. So, uh, because it's easier for a lot of people to talk about strings and not about, let's say, voltage, I'm gonna go with constant strings here, like string sum string, okay? And let's give, give it a value, constant stuff all the time and now we are uh, trying to create method that will also not be uh, reachable from main section but let me just explain why i'm just trying to show you uh, how thing thing works so also we're gonna put method into private section so void uh, print str this is a function so brackets and actual operations like c out that specific some string and line and now down there when you create objects you're gonna be like this cls object and end of instruction and normal operation like object and the moment when you say dot uh, you have these red here markings so those things exist but they are not reachable see private uh, void function or method and a private string okay so now how to uh, have these things fixed and these things uh, reachable and dynamic well put methods inside the public and strings constants inside a private section i mean yeah i'm using classical terminology constants um, and you know up till now how to create like normal constants in C++ because it's it's easier for me to explain uh, like just specific strings that don't change over time so we can use it but we can, cannot change it anyway this thing will be under private access level and this thing will be under public access level so different access levels okay so now down there when you say dot there you go you have a, a method that is reachable see green light and uh, actual uh, not perimeter but uh, let's use the term actual constant it's not reachable you have a red dot here so if you click double click i mean <laughs> yeah if you double click here then you will run into problems see there you go problem is within this content uh, well this thing is a private so you cannot use it but you can use uh, print str dot print str semicolon and now the thing will totally work okay there you go so that's the whole purpose of putting stuff into private access level those things are like carved and stone and not directly reachable from main section of code so what is a real life analogy here let's say that this thing here is like general manager and in company and you can cannot reach that person directly because let's say it's a too rich too important too busy or such a thing so to get to that person you must contact secretary or some subordinate to get to that major person something like that you cannot get it to that person directly but indirectly so same stuff here now here's the question can in a same arrangement uh, you have like um, inside the 
public section? Can you have there some kind of variables that will be reachable? Well, yes, this is just a simple example, but you can also have something like this, like uh, let's say integer and uh, number equals five. And now this thing, because it is inside a public section, it will be available like, uh, yeah, we do have it. So let's create function to actually use it like a void print uh, number. Okay. And let's say see out that specific number and end line. So down there you can totally use it because it's inside the public section where I am. Okay. And let's just copy this thing to save a little bit of time and dot and there you go we have print number as a green option a semicolon and we will have five as a result after uh, constant stuff okay there you go that's pretty much that now hopefully this is understandable for you if it's not just uh, go with uh, one constant let's use that terminology and one thing inside a private section, when you understand that, then you can proceed to multiple things, to multiple method, methods and such stuff. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Thanks for watching, for support and subscription. See you next tutorial.